There's an onion in here. That's what was shaking around in there. It was a baby. Don't you worry, little squashy. We're gonna get you nice and clean because you're dirty. Body goals, am I right? Look at those hips. It's game time and I'm up one. Name something I ain't done. Name a body that's my type. Right. Air Jordan, I'll take flight. I'm next level, I'm French. You are winner, Julia Renee. Hello, buff babes and bros, and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to the grocery store. So if you saw my last video, you know that we got a completely new meal plan for us to run for the next 10 to 14 days with the intention of like reducing inflammation. So it's very like Mediterranean style, and I was looking over it this morning and it's actually a lot lower protein than I'm used to. So usually my body gets about 160 grams of protein per day and this one's only 90. So we're focusing on a little bit less protein, higher carbs, higher fats with the intention of reducing inflammation and taking like a diet break so that we can increase calories and then cut them back down. Um, so I'm actually really excited to eat this meal plan because I love all things Mediterranean style of eating. So you'll see some of the foods that we're gonna be grabbing. A little, a little, what else? I believe that's it. Let's go into the store. What's the question? Cannellini beans or black-eyed peas? Black-eyed peas. Do you think it's better? Yeah, I think so. We actually have a fucking full aisle to ourselves for once. I'm not sneaking. We are back from the store and I have my Mediterranean spread out here. We have avocados, we have zucchinis, we have oranges, apples, we have grape tomatoes, black bean or uh, black eyed peas, little cucumbers, Kalamata olives, we have some peppers too, pita, which I'm excited about. Not for you. Get them. Uh, get them. Feta cheese, we have some wasa crips. Crips. Crisps. 
And I got microgreens to add to my other um, salads because I'm having one of my um, meals is like a really big salad with a bunch of other stuff in it. Oh, I forgot. We also have walnuts that are going in that salad. I got some more gluten-free oats because we have oats still for breakfast. We have Greek yogurt. I just got plain because I wasn't sure like how I was going to use the Greek yogurt in my meal plan, but now I know. So I probably could have gotten like a vanilla flavored one, but it's okay. And then we have the almond butter. So I am going to like unload the groceries, but I'm also going to like pre prep things so that when I'm using it throughout the day, it's easier. All my proteins are already prepped and ready to go because I buy it from Mega Fit Meals. Code Julie Renee. And um, so I'm just gonna prep like mainly like my breakfast because it's just easier when I do it like that because then I can just grab it and go. I used to be the type of person that really liked to spend a long time doing my breakfast and I still really do enjoy doing that but having it like ready to go and really fast has been more helpful for me lately. So I think first what we're going to do is I think we're gonna prep our breakfast first, and then we'll see what we can prep for the other meals. So let's do that. This is honestly the best thing that I ever bought. This, this thing, I also bought that. That's actually, this is like this combo from Amazon is actually supposed to be for rice. But, shh, I like to use it for fruit and rice. So I'm checking my meal plan to make sure that I also need honey. So I'm going to prep the first half of my breakfast. So one of the, one of the parts is um, oats and the other part is kind of like a yogurt parfait, um, which we have the Greek yogurt for. So I always like to have something, it's weird like with breakfast, something cold and something hot like whether it's like fruit and like eggs or parfait and then warm oats. So I'm gonna do warm oats because I have been doing cold oats and I'm gonna prep my parfait. So we need to prep each with some yogurt and then I'm gonna do half the blueberries in this and then I'm gonna put the other half in the oats when I do do that, but I'm not going to prep those. And honey as well. So that's how much we need. Honey on me. So I have the first half of my breakfast prepped and ready to go so that I can just grab it. And the second half is going to be, well, you'll see in our next video. But now I can just grab it and I can take less time preparing it all in the morning. So I want to put them in here. Okay. And now I think what I want to prep. Now I got my breakfast that's made easier. So now what would I want to prep for my second meal? Actually, I'll probably want to cut up a mixture of tomatoes and cucumber. So let's do that.
There's an onion in here. There's a snake in my boot. There's an onion in here and I hate onions. They're disgusting. Okay, so I'm gonna put these so they'll be ready to go here. I'm probably going to put these prepped and ready to go. I'm going to be cutting my vegetables that I'm actually going to cook. So it would be better to keep the fresh ones uncut um, so that they stay fresh for longer because then they'll probably get, they'll probably get gross too fast. But this is the avocado that we're going to have. This one I think might still be okay. I'll let Zach eat that one. If he wants that one, he can have that one. Did you know? Hmm? If you put avocados in water, they stay fresh for like two, three weeks. They do? Yeah. Shit. Bugger! Did you know? If you put an apple next to potatoes, they won't sprout. What? The potatoes won't sprout? Yeah. Did you know <laughs> if you put the tip of a nanner in water, it won't go brown? Really? Are you making that up? No, it's true. Oh, okay. Are you making that up? <laughs> Did you know? Did you know? If you put lettuce in ice cold water, it recrisps the succulent roughage. The what? The tasty salad. <laughs> the succulent roughage? Okay, I think now what I want to do at least is prep my vegetables because I think I'm going to put them... I'm trying to decide if I want to put them in the oven or if I want to put them in the air fryer because the air fryer is small and it won't hold as much but the oven is big I am trying to talk to the people <laughs> I got him to shut up okay I think I'm gonna do it in the oven so I'm gonna start, I'm gonna do it at 350 and we're gonna cut up some zucchini and some squash because this is what's going to, it's gonna go in my pita. So it's gonna be cooked and I wanna have it like in a bucket so that when I'm getting ready to eat it for lunch then I can just like scoop the amount of vegetables that I need and it's already done and I don't have to worry about it. We're also gonna mix it with some peppers. So I'm gonna just like dice them up put them on a little tray, and we'll cook them. Um, guys, it's a mess. <laughs> I'm trying to fit everything in here. What I am realizing with getting this new place is my old place had so much more kitchen space. Like this place has more space for, it has like more rooms, it has more bathrooms, and like it's better lighting and stuff. But compared to my other place, it's storage-wise, there's not a lot. And for the kitchen, that's a place that I need a lot of storage. So, don't you worry, little squashy. We're going to get you nice and clean because you're dirty. You're a dirty one. And I'm going to put you in the bucket. The clean ones go in the bucket. You can literally feel like the dirt coming off of them. <laughs> this is like an episode of Veggie Tales. Yeah. Did y'all watch Veggie Tales when you were little? Oh yeah. I did. My mom made me watch Veggie Tales, but I really liked Veggie Tales. Do you think this knife's too big for what we're doing? Yeah. So I'm gonna cut these up. The bigger the knife, the easier the slice. The easier the slice. <laughs> that sounds like a um, like a catchphrase for yeah. something dumb. <laughs> okay. I need a big pan. Shh. So I'm just gonna cut them and then flop them right on the pan. So I don't really cook a lot of my vegetables with olive oil because 
it's very, I mean, it, I don't want this to sound like I never would. Of course I would like to cook my vegetables with a lot of olive oil, but literally like a tablespoon of olive oil. I wish I had the, I don't even have the container, but. It's like 14 grams of fat. Yeah, it's like 14 grams of fat. And especially like when you're limited on them, um, it's just a lot of calories for like a very small amount. So what I just do instead, at least when I'm doing these, I just spray the paper with a quick little olive spray from the Heeb, just so that they don't stick. And then I'd rather like add olive oil like on top of it because this new meal plan is a lot higher in fat. So I do have like olive oil, I have a lot of olives and like cheese, like feta cheese and stuff. Pause, look. <gasps> That's what was shaking around in there. It was a baby. <gasps> She's giving birth to a little baby. Look, it has a hair. <laughs> You're going in the trash. Sorry. Okay, China. <laughs> that was so crazy. That's what was moving around in there. Anyways, so basically that's how that's how I do my veggies. I don't do any olive oil on it. I'd rather add, add it on later if I have to. So if you were cutting peppers, you start from up the upside down and you flip it over and you find the like middle and then you just follow down the creases and cut all the way down. So then I'm gonna follow this crease and match it from the top. And then you can just boop, boop. And then it's a lot easier to cut that way. Then you just literally go like that. Get out of my kitchen, you imbecile. <laughs> You're doing it wrong. Oh, here comes the You're doing it wrong. Gosh, do I have to do everything myself? That was Gordon Ramsay. Thank you and scene. Honestly though, this is body goals. Body goals, am I right? Look at those hips. You didn't go get it. What's wrong with you? Vegetables are so tedious. I know we like need them and all for like our health and all, but why they be taken like forever? I got like the spices I want to use. <laughs> if you guys don't watch Napoleon Dynamite and you're on this channel right now, What's wrong with you? But you remember when, I think it's Kip. Kip goes, yes. It's like a, it's like a little, yes. Yes. Like he really puts his hips into it, you know? Yeah, you know. I'm assuming you know. Okay, this is, it might be, it might be a little traffic jammy here, but it'll, it'll work. I'm gonna do a little quick spritzy of this on top. Spritz, spritz. And salt. That's enough. <laughs> Hell no, I like a lot of salt, so I'm gonna. <laughs> this is pink Himalayan salt, too. Everything but the bagel seasoning opens it with my mouth, of course. Boom. Delish. Okay, I'm gonna put those in the oven for a time in which I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna try, let's do like 20 minutes. Okay, 21, and see how it goes. So now we got that going. What else can we prep? I can. I should probably wash my beans because 
beans make you go toot toot, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I should probably do that. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna wash my beans. <laughs> This is uh, Vision's food. I used to give Vision like um, wet food. Wet food. So he thinks that this is his food. It's not yours. These are beans. Beans, the magical fruit. The more you eat, the more you chew. Wait, those are peas, not beans. Did you fuck up? You no, he them? says I could. I needed to get black-eyed peas. Is black-eyed pea a bean? Tastes like a bean. Looks like a bean. It looks like a bean. Smells like a bean. <laughs> Must be a bean. We'll know later. Okay, that's a lot of beanses. But we're gonna wash them and have them basically ready to go so that my life is easier and I just have to scoop them out and measure them. Somehow I need to fit all of my fruits in here. You oh, really just want everything to be about you, don't you? Well, not today, son. Not today. It's about me. Okay. Now, I've got my Mega Fit meals, which is a shame because my meal plan is so different now that I definitely would have ordered different stuff if I would have known, but it's my fault, so. Okay, Zach has some pre-made meals. So he has the turkey spaghetti, which is actually freaking good. Then we have some bulk salmon. Here's another turkey spaghetti. Here's a pre-made meal. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it. He gets these bison burgers, which are really good. So I'm kind of separating the pre-made meals and the bulk so that I can organize it. Did I make a mess? Made a mess. Oh no. Vision. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's too high for me. I just got real sleepy. Vision. I am not really happy with you today because you pee peed all over the house. Anyways, so we have things that are ready and prepped to go. 
so that when I do my meals, it's just easier. And since I work at home, it's gonna be a little easier anyways because I can just like walk from my desk over here to eat my meals. But having the vegetables already prepped, things already cut, things to just grab easy are always better than not because you're more likely to stay on track if it's just simpler. Honestly, the, one of the reasons why we all order DoorDash and like we go through the drive-through is because it's just simpler than like cooking, going shopping, prepping things, and it's easier to have someone just like bring you your food than make it yourself. So any way that you can make it more convenient for yourself. So in our next video, we are going to do a full day of eating. And as always, I love you all so much and you're more powerful than you think. Bye.